there, Alina Wilson here from Estimate Mastery. And today I'd like to talk about the top three updates that Xactimate has added to their system in the last, I would say, year or so. So there's some really cool features that they've added, some things that they've moved around, and some things that are kind of hard to find now that they've added the feature and then moved it to a different menu. So let me show you what I mean. These are my top three updates that are my favorites here in Xactimate. So let's go take a look. So I'm gonna start with the first one that's my favorite and it's something that I have been asking for a very long time, which is how to search a note template. So of course in Xactimate, I'm in the estimate item screen and I'm on a line item and I like to use line item notes to support why I'm adding a line item in particular to an estimate. So for example, for the double coverage low slope felt on a roof, I could double click that note template there. It'll pull up a box for me. So I could copy and paste code or any manufacturer specifications to show why this line item needed. So low slope coverage needed for slopes under 412 pitch, what have you. Okay, so just as an example, that would be my note. I can save that note here using the save note button and then I can name it low slope or whatever you're gonna use to find that uh, note template again. But once I added that line item, it was really hard for me to go and find that line item note again. Let's say I wanted to explain why I need starter on this uh, particular roof. I would double click on the note attachment there and then you see it pulls up a blank note attachment. And right here we've got the load note tool. So I've got over 250, maybe even 300 note templates saved at this point in time because anytime I reuse a note, I'm like, that needs to be saved. That's a time saver. So I have a nice library of notes that I use uh, for interior and exterior work. But before we could not search. So I would have to scroll down, get nice and dizzy trying to find what I needed. Now I can go search. So we're on the starter line item. I can search my line items for starter and see which ones I want to use. So I really like this Eagle View one that I like to use. And that, of course, saves me all the time of retyping this or even pulling up some other note document and having to copy and paste. It can be all here in Xactimate if you organize your note template library correctly and be sure to use that search tool. It saves you a ton of time. My second favorite thing that they have changed here in Xactimate is before you had to go over to documents and reports in order to resequence your line numbers. Let me go back here. So as you see, my estimate items start with the number one and end with the number 16, but we've got 20, 19 in there. They're all, you know, a bit messed up. So what I can do now, I don't have to leave this screen. I can actually right click and go to resequence line numbers. Or if you're super fancy, you can hit control shift N and that will resequence right here. Yes, Alina, it's just a few clicks. What's the big deal? Guess what? Every click is a second of time that turns into minutes, it turns into hours, it turns into days on the beach for you. I don't want you wasting your click. And also it's nice just to see it all flesh out here right in front of your eyes so that you can take a look and make sure that they are resequenced. Number three over here in sketch, I wanted to go over the view properties because a few things have changed here where we used to be able to see like deck footings right now. I've drawn a deck here in sketch. I go to its properties and I frame the construction so that I can see the railings, the footings and everything like that. If I hit control shift R, you can see on the deck that it's actually built me a pick list of all the framing materials and other materials that I need for footings such as, you know, post anchors and all the other fun things. So what I want to do now is just take a look at that deck to see how it framed those posts and how many um, footings that I'm going to need, what it prescribed. And if you go into 3D here, you'll see that I can't see that. And it also looks like my railings are like glass walls. So there's a couple of view properties that have been changed here that I think are important. Whether you're working on a deck or any other part of the structure, you're gonna to wanna to know these properties. So if you right click out in the blank space, notice I'm not right clicking on the deck, I'm right clicking on the blank space here. We can go to view properties and you've got different types of view properties now, classic, solid, and textured. So I've got textured uh, selected there. If I choose classic, left click okay, and go back out to 3D, this is what it used to look like. It was kind of a shiny surface. Notice though, we can't see those footers. So one more step, what we need to do is go to view in the bottom right corner and go to deck framing. 
that will frame out our deck. And that's how we got that pick list that I showed you earlier. And if I hit 3D now, it looks like the way the old school it used to look in 3D. So I can see my footings. There we go. You see my railings there instead of them being glass walls. And it just looks like a nicely framed deck. So just to recap, if you like this old standard view, I kind of like it because the properties look like a little hand hovering over a piece of paper. If you like that view, you're going to want to right click in the white space here in the blank space, go to view properties and go to classic. If you like the new updated X1 version looking uh, menu, let me show you what that looks like. That's textured. That's where you're going to see this block of properties here. I'm old school. I've been doing this for almost, let's see, 12 years now. So I like the comfort of the hand hovering over the piece of paper. The other thing that I like about the view properties of it being classic, it's just classic, baby. No, uh, the other thing I like about it being classic is that you can look at the deck framing and it's the way that we used to view it. If you view the deck framing in the new textured view, let me show you what that looks like. It just looks a bit different. It's just kind of more high res. Um, it's the planking looks more lifelike. It's uh, got, you know, a little bit more detail. So you do you, whatever view that you are enjoying, that is one that you're going to want to choose and it's governed by the view properties. So just know that you can take a look there, look at your options. I like to give you options and let you figure out what you like as far as your views. And it will change how if you add carpet and other things to the rooms, that's, these view properties will also start to affect how those look to your eye as you roll through Sketch. So those are my top three recently made changes uh, to Xactimate that I've really enjoyed. Please comment down below if you found one of my favorites to be yours as well, or maybe I missed one that is your favorite that I didn't mention. Please comment down below if you have anything to add to this video. And of course, subscribe if you ring that little bell there. Every time I release one of these Tuesday Tech Tips, you will be notified. So my name is Alina Wilson with Estimate Mastery. Thanks for joining me for this video. For more information on our business and what we do here, with Xactimate training for contractors, go to estimatemastery.com. Hope you have a really great week in your business and I'll see you next week.